split hairs here. You're one of these guys, you've gotten so intensely famous so fast. There are some aspects of it that got to be difficult to deal with, I imagine. Well, it's, it's, it's all, a, it's, it's, it's a brave new world out there, so it's all sort of everyone's kind of navigating it as best they can. I don't know, it's, it's fine. Most people are very polite, especially in New York. Yeah. Um, some people stare and point, which is always weird. <laughs> like, you're an adult, what are you doing? Pointing at another an adult, that seems weird. But, um, I don't know, people process their, their shock and, 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 and uncomfortability differently, I guess. So it's totally fine. Are you ever surprised by the universality of it? Like, are you surprised by, that certain people know you? I mean, like the bag lady, you know, rummaging for cans, points up. And, oh, John M., how you doing? Can I get a picture? Well, that's my aunt, so she <laughs> should really know me at this point. Um, but no, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm not that big in the homeless community, weirdly enough. Um, I'm doing, you know, some outreach to try to, try to get that Q score up a little more. But um, no, I don't know. It's, 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 it's. Uh, I don't know. It's, it all seems, it's all nice because it yeah. means that people are from, hopefully, enjoy what you do, but are yeah. at least familiar with what you do. So then, uh, that's, that's pleasant, I suppose, right? Yeah. And it beats the alternative, which is people pointing at you for other reasons. <laughs> like they, they hate you. <laughs> but do you like those subway dancers? Do you take the subway? That's a better question. I've taken a subway. Yeah. <laughs> Past tense. Oh. oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Like today? <laughs> no. No. Today. This week? No. Really? No. <laughs> In the last seven years? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, they've got some great dancers on the subway these days, John. You should check, check them out. Yeah, they okay. like to f hang on the bars. Uh, they're all homeless. So they're, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you'll get, you'll get on with them. <laughs> you, John, you've, you've come a long way since Ally McBeal. I think it's fair to say. Yeah, I have. That Which was is, a that was a, one of my first jobs ever. Was was playing an extra in Ally McBeal. I was also an extra in the pilot of The Practice. Really? Um, with Dylan McDermott. Thank you, Dylan, for being here tonight and supporting. Um, I was an extra in a Heineken commercial once, and I was an extra in a movie with Matthew McConaughey and an elephant, which I don't remember the title of because two elephant movies came out that year. One was called Operation Dumbo Drop. Oh, I Operation that. Dumbo Drop. And one was called Nickel and Dimed. Did they adapt the Barbara Einreich social sciences book, I Nickel and Dimed? I don't think so, because there was an elephant involved <laughs> running through LAX, that we were, and we were all told not to, to look at Matthew McConaughey. Um, which is hard, because he's a beautiful man, um, especially back then. Just, uh, just the right weight and uh, great hair. It was really... But no, an elephant running through a terminal at LAX. I was standing next to it at some point when it passed. And I made $80. That and, and you told all your and friends? I think I learned a lot. You learned a lot. About not being an extra ever again. 